In today's video, I have a new D-Pin device, and this one's called the Pebble. And this is another project that's bringing real utility to the crypto world. This device is actually a tiny one. Let me just open it up over here. And here it is. It's a tiny little device. That's why they call it the Pebble. It's about the size of a pebble, maybe about two and a half inches. What it does is it tracks motion, light, location, and climate. And it's all done in here, and it's powered by micro USB. There's a battery built into it. It charges by micro USB. Connectivity for this device is going to be through a SIM card. And uh, the SIM card that you're going to need is a nano SIM card. You can use pretty much any IoT related SIM card. I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be an issue, but they are suggesting to use hologram. Hologram is actually a very low cost option. There's a few promos that you can get where the card is actually free. You're just paying for shipping. The actual cost for the data plan, I'm not exactly sure yet. I think it's going to work out to be a couple bucks a month. That I have to confirm. And when I do an update on this device, I'll let you know. To get this device set up, you're going to need a couple of things. You want to make sure that you have a SIM card for this device before you proceed because you really can't do anything until then. After you have the SIM card for your device, what you're going to want to do is get a software wallet. In this video, I'm going to be using MetaMask. MetaMask is going to be the wallet I'll use to connect to the MachineFi dashboard. And it's also going to be the wallet that's going to hold my funds. Speaking of funds, you're going to have to have a little bit of ITOX in your wallet. I'm going to be using the Mexi exchange to purchase it and send it to my MetaMask wallet. You don't need too much to cover the cost of these transactions. I'm only gonna be spending five to $10. So those are some of the requirements that we're gonna to need to get this device up and running. I'm gonna go ahead and start walking you through the steps. All right, so I'm at the Hologram website and I'm gonna activate the SIM card I just received. I can click on this link right over here and it's gonna ask for some details which are printed right on the card. So go ahead and click on get started. And the first thing it wants is my SIM number. All right, so I have my SIM card number added. Click on continue. You're going to select the location that works for you. It looks like it's going to cost me 70 cents. And then the cost per meg is going to be 8 cents. Your SIM should be up and running in about 10 minutes. So we're going to give it about 10 minutes and then we'll pop it into our Pebble. I already have MetaMask installed on my browser. I'll make sure I link this quick start guide in the description below. Uh, we're scrolling down over here. We have MetaMask installed. If you're not using a browser, you're going to be wanting to use the IOPay mobile smart app in your phone. Now, if we have MetaMask, we want to make sure that we add the IOTEX network to it. If we click on this link, it's going to take us over to this page where we'll add it to our MetaMask wallet. We're going to be adding in the mainnet to our wallet. Click on add. I'm using MetaMask and I get a few little prompts over here. Um, this is coming from the official source, so it should be okay. I'm gonna click on add, and now we're gonna switch over to that network. Now what we wanna do is fund our wallet. I'm gonna jump over to the Mexi Exchange. I believe this is gonna be the best place to get it. No KYC, pretty straightforward. So here I am inside the Mexi Exchange. I'm gonna go up here to the spot menu at the top and click on spot. It's gonna bring me over to the exchange window. We're gonna type in IOTX. This is the one that we're going to want. Select that right now. There we go. So you can see the price has gone up. It's four cents right now. Well, four and a half cents. Uh, I don't need a lot to fund my wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the market right over here. I think I have about 10 bucks in my wallet right now. So I'll buy $10 worth. There we go. And uh, click on buy. And my order has now been fulfilled. All right. And you go up here into my wallet section. Now, there's one thing I just found out. You actually have to convert your address. It may not recognize it. So I'm just going to quickly grab my MetaMask wallet address up here at the top. And then I'm going to go into this address converter. I'm going to paste in my MetaMask address. I'm going to click on convert to IO address. So then I'm going to get this output right over here, which I'm going to copy. And inside Mexi, I'm going to paste that address. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to withdraw all of the I2X I just bought, and I'm going to send it to my wallet. So click on submit. I'm just going to do the security verification, and then we'll go over to my MetaMask wallet. So my IOTX has now showed up on my wallet, and we can head over to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to head over to the MachineFi website. And that website is portal.machinefi.com. And when we're over here, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to be connecting that same MetaMask wallet to the site. Uh, so click on the connect button over here. Click on connect now and I'm going to click on connect and there we go. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call mine crypto jar and call yours, whatever you'd like. And then we'll just finish the setup. All right. So there's a little bit of gas, which is going to be about four cents. So click on confirm and that's been confirmed. You don't need much. It is a good idea to have some balance on your dashboard. I'm going to be depositing a credit, a very small credit, but I'm just going to have something in here. I'm just going to put in five right now and I'll click on deposit and confirm. Okay, and that's been confirmed. It really just costs a few cents and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, we're gonna jump over to the next step. Here's a good angle so you can see the three different sizes of the card. 
you have the standard size, you have the micro size, and then you have the nano. The nano is the one that we're going to be using. There we go. So I have the nano one right over here. There we go. All right, so you can see that we're now connected to the device. We have a couple of indicators over here for signal strength and that it's connected. Uh, we can go ahead and jump over to the next step now. Now we're gonna go ahead and register our device. So we have a device option over here, which I'm gonna select. And uh, we have the option to select a device. They also give you options to purchase one if you don't already have one. I'm using the Pebble. Uh, that's the one I'm gonna be adding. So I'm gonna click on the Add button over here. I'm gonna be selecting the Pebble. And now it's going to be asking for some details, and this is going to be for registration. So I'll show you my packaging, and here it is. This is the SN number, which is a serial number, and then you get the IME number, which is the IMEI number, and then we're going to be entering them both in. Over here on the dashboard, I'm going to select the, I have read the terms and services, click on next, and now we're going to be entering in the information. Uh, for name, you can give it any name. Uh, Pebble is what they're suggesting. I will put the same thing in there. And then I'm going to be putting in my serial number. And then I have to put in my 15-digit IMEI number. Okay, and that's in. And then you can select an avatar. I'm just going to leave the default one in there. And I'm going to click on Next. So now it's trying to connect to my MetaMask wallet. There is some gas fees that it's going to charge. It's three cents. I'm going to click on Confirm. I'm just going to show you my Pebble right now. And you can see that my address my MetaMask address is now showing up on the device display. So that just confirms that everything is properly connected. Okay, so there's a button on the side that we need to select on our Pebble. We just need to hold it down and wait a minute and it's gonna confirm the registration. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And we can see that the status right now is proposed. We just need to wait till this says confirmed and that means everything is done. And it is now confirmed. You can see that my device is online. So we get some information about our device. Uh, we get the firmware version, we get the IM, EI, we get the address that we've entered in, um, I2X that's consumed, uh, published frequency, uh, last published time, and then the data that it admits. All the information is right over here. We also have um, how much battery life is on the device, and it also lets us know how much signal is on the device. So it looks like we're up and running. So we just confirmed that this device is connected, it is online, and everything's working the way it should. So what I'm planning on doing is making an update for this device, as well as all the other deep end devices that I have, and I give you an idea of which one is profitable, which ones are making me money, and which ones are not making me money. So if you find that interesting, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.